Wake up, everybody. Wake up. Hallmark Entertainment and Crayola are adding to your family's fun with five exciting animated adventures on video. The Three Little Pigs the Movie, the all-new Ugly Duckling sing-along tunes, and the Ugly Duckling video. Plus, Small Stories and Brambley Hedge Autumn and Winter. Now you can bring home the classic story of the three little pigs in an all-new one-hour animated adventure. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? <laughs> Join them as they sing new songs. Please, make your houses stronger for my sake. And build their homes. I never realized work could be so much fun. Until the big bad wolf... Please let me into your house now, won't you? Huffs and puffs and blows their house down. And as an added bonus, the Three Little Pigs comes with a free activity booklet and a box of Crayola crayons. Strike out a simple song whenever trouble comes along. Hans Christian Andersen's beloved classic, The Ugly Duckling, is now more fun than ever with the collection of sensational songs. Crayola's all-new video, The Ugly Duckling Sing-Along Tunes, will bring your family together for hours of sing-along fun. Also available, the full-length feature classic, The Ugly Duckling. I'm Augustus. I'm usually called ugly. This timeless family favorite also comes with a free activity booklet and a box of Crayola crayons. Come on! And for more animated excitement, we'll take you into the enchanting world of Brambley Hedge Autumn and Winter. I'm going on an adventure. A magical miniature village where the world's most adorable country mice live and play. <laughs> <laughs> this wonderful new adventure comes with a bonus featurette and free activity book and Crayola crayons. And for your younger children, it's time to play with Small Stories, a colorful new generation of fairy tales that will make growing up lots of fun. Also with activity book and Crayola crayons. So bring home the kind of joy and laughter that will delight your entire family over and over again. <laughs> with these five Crayola Presents animated tales. Because there's only one childhood and only one Crayola. Available wherever videos are sold. Distributed by Hallmark Home Entertainment and Family Home Entertainment. This is Fino, the oldest and wisest little pig. He's not afraid of working hard, and you can always depend on Fino. Wally, the second little pig, loves to eat pizza, cake, and candies. He spends his days dreaming and relaxing. As for Bimo, he's the prince of rock and roll. Music, singing, and dancing are what he likes most. But who's this following our little friends? Ah, it's Felix, the tiny mouse. And this is Arame, a kind and gentle skunk. Oh, I think you know this one. It's Big Boss, the wolf. He's mean and greedy and very strong, but not the smartest wolf in the forest. There goes Rublard, the sly fox. He's always trying to outsmart Big Boss and always getting into trouble. What will happen when they all get together? Well, that's our tale. And this is the story of the three little pigs. Thank you. 
my way! <laughs> Completely crazy. Mm. Ah. Molly, Bemo, Felix, get a move on. It's another lovely day. Mm. With super strength, super special, extra Omox, your house will gleam brighter than bright all day long. Market reports. Turkey prices fell sharply today while pigeons went through the roof. And now a news update. And the latest on the Little Red Riding Hood saga. In an amazing development, an angry wolf has been seen in the vicinity. The police are keeping up the search for this large antisocial carnivore. <laughs> well, it sure is a good thing that wolf is not around here. Well, you can never be too careful. You never know. Being eaten alive. Just think of it. Oh. Did someone mention food? No. <laughs> but it is time for breakfast. How about some Granny Smith apples and cheese? I'll put the coffee on. Here comes another day. The sun is out to stay. It's time for everybody to wake up and say, Here comes another day. The milkman's on his way. Some new adventures are in store. We'll work and play. Have you seen Mr. Rooster? He's been up since half past four. He crows right at the crack of dawn, and then he crows some more. Here comes another day, the sun is out to stay. It's time for everybody to wake up and say, Here comes another day, the milkman's on his way. Some new adventures are in store, we'll work and play. The bees are making honey for my honey's morning tea. If only she would say the word her only love, that's me. Do you love me? Do you love me? Would you love me, please? Here comes another day, the sun is out to stay. It's time for everybody to wake up and say, Here comes another day, the milkman's on his way. Some new adventures are in store, we'll work and play. And now all of us animals have so much work to do. So rise and shine, the morning's fine time to begin anew. Hello! Oh, Mr. Butcher, we've been expecting you. <laughs> good morning, Mrs. Boudinot. Oh, good morning to you. I think you're going to be very pleased. They're lovely and plump. Mm, we should get a good price for them. Mm, come in, have a coffee before you start. Oh, I won't say no. Three piglets all at once. It must be my day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Catastrophe! Bino! Bimo! Wally! The butcher! He's after you! What? They want to eat us? Why us? What have we done? We have to get out of here. What are you talking about? Are you going out of your mind? No arguments. We have to leave the farm. And that's all there is to it. All right! And I'm coming too! We'll go around the world! 
And when we're far enough away and safe, we'll find a pretty little spot. And we'll build ourselves a house just for us, where no one will come and eat us. Are you with me, guys? But we haven't had breakfast yet. If we wait for that, you'll be turned into a pork pie. We'll eat as we go along. Get a move on, silly. Uh, uh. Here's some food for the journey. Which way are we going to go? I'll carry the map, and Felix will take the compass. Why don't we go by trade? They have a mm -hmm. restaurant car on trades. Mm -hmm. Why not a chauffeur-driven limousine while you're at it? Just the same. A car would come in handy. A bit of common sense wouldn't do you any harm either. We'll climb up these mountains and go across these valleys. <gasps> Quickly, here they come! But that's at least a hundred miles from here. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not coming. It's far too exhausting. Surely there's another way. Perhaps we could discuss it calmly. <gasps> sure, ask the butcher for a ride. I'm sure he'd like a pig who could sing. Ed could play a musical instrument. And sleep. And who doesn't have his feet on the ground. Hurry up! They're coming! Very well, then. Just to please you. But remember, I've got the compass. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Shh. Ah, oh, my dearest love, I will return for you soon. I will write to you every day. Felix. Go quickly. I'll create a diversion for you. Isn't the world big? Yeah, and the farm, it looks so small, doesn't it? How were we able to live in such a tidy place? Hey, come along. We've got to hurry. Bimo, get your compass out. We're going northwest. Whee! Come on, you two. We'll never get there if you don't get a move on. What do you mean? Is it still a long way? Afraid so. Till we're safe, anyway. <laughs> Not doing much for our morale, you know. think we're lost. I can't see this forest on the map. Are you sure we've been going northwest all along? Well, certainly when we've been going downhill, but I'm not so sure about going uphill. <laughs> uh, uh, we're lost. Oh, this would have never happened if we'd have stayed on the farm. <laughs> Molly, if you stayed on the farm, you'd be a pork pie by now. <laughs> Look, Wally, Bimo, there's no point in arguing. It's nighttime, and anyway, we won't be able to find our way in the dark. It's best if we camp here for the night. You mean, you mean we got to sleep here? Yes, I think that's the best plan. Good night. Sleep well. Good night? But I'm starving. So am I, and I hope Fino doesn't wake us up at the crack of dawn tomorrow. Good night, Everyone. Whose bright idea was it to build a house? It certainly wasn't mine. Will you be quiet? Here we are in the middle of this spooky wood. I bet it's full of toads and spiders. And bats. And snakes. Shh. And ghosts, maybe. And witches. There's bound to be witches. Oh! And werewolves. Zombies. And blood-sucking vampires, huh? Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, what? Where? What's going on? Bino, where are they going? Quick, Felix, we've got to get after them. Wally! Something must have scared them. Bimo! Hey, wait for us, you guys, stop! We're right here, everything's okay. Bimo! Wally! Wally! Bimo! Felix, we've lost them. I can't believe I lost my brothers. What have I done? Oh, come on now. You mustn't blame yourself. It wasn't your fault. We'll find them eventually. But where? <laughs> tweet, tweet, tweet. We've lost our two friends. Tweet, 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 tweet. They're pigs, just like him. Yeah, I think I know where they are. Hey, cheer up, you know. This rabbit, he may know where they are. I saw something this morning that looked like some pigs or something. Follow me! Really? <gasps> wow! This is the perfect spot to build a house. If only we'd known that. Thanks to those two. Anyway, where are they? Hey, come over here. Bimo! Wally! On your feet, it's breakfast time. Huh? What? What did he say? Breakfast? Breakfast. Hey, you guys, what made you so frightened? What? Us frightened? Never. Never. This machine is going to make my fortune. I'm the greatest designer in the world. A small adjustment here, and a tiny improvement there. Way and come out beautifully packed and labeled and ready to be sold. Brilliant. Perfect. This is great. It's genius. Ah, what can that be? Rublod here. Grizzly the Butcher here. Look, I'm still waiting for you to deliver those pork pies. How much longer am I going to have to wait? If it goes on like this, I'll have to find myself a new supplier. You'll have them tomorrow morning. Fool, he doesn't realize how incredibly brilliant my machine really is. Mm hmm. Big boss here, Rublod. I'm going to wring your miserable neck if that little deal you promised me doesn't come off. Big Boss, I've got something really special for you. Big sausages, small sausages, pig's feet, stuffed liver, breast, ham, knuckle of ham, bacon. I keep telling you, I just need a little more. This time, I'm going to make him really happy with some fresh meat. Hmm.
This is going to be a great day for my machine. But he'll have to be patient. I'll need to keep an eye on the piglets and convince Big Boss. <laughs> now, the front door will go here, and this will be the sitting room with the fireplace, and over in this section we could put the, um... The kitchen! The kitchen, yes, that's a good idea! And we mustn't forget the fridge, uh, the microwave for heating up little bits and pieces, the orange squeezer, the machine for making chips, and one for making ice cream and waffles, and the thing for peeling carrots and grating cheese. Terrific idea! <laughs> and this will be the way up to the first floor, where we can put the bedrooms! With our cozy little beds and lovely soft quilts. All right, then. Since we all agree, here's a list of all the things we need and a list of all the jobs we have to do. Yes, sir, General. All right. All together. Now. One, two. One, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. But... But this is crazy. <sighs> Fino, you don't understand. This is far too hard. No, no. It'll be all right. The most difficult bit is to get started. We just have to do things one at a time. Then, with the four of us working on it, it'll be finished in no time. No, no, no! I don't agree with this anymore! He's right, Fino. This is a really bad idea. No. This plan of yours, I'm sure we could think of something much more simple. And much less tiring. I agree. Okay. Have it your way, but remember, we need to build a strong house that will keep us safe for a long time. Trust us. We can build a really beautiful house. All right. Best of luck, but work hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, this is, is the, the good, good life. life. <laughs> Oh, I'll build a house as solid as I can Though it might not be easy Warm in the winter by my chimney As cozy as can be I'll make it with such care That no one better dare Disturb my peace and tranquility While rocking in my chair While rocking in my chair and now I can play my guitar all day long That's what I love to do Get up at noontime, write a little song And whistle till I'm blue Chords and scales are my delight Celestial harmony Who would rather fly a kite Than sing a melody Let's sing a melody Oh, I'll have the time to eat all day and night In ice cream and pizza parlors And when I'm so full that I can barely move I'll have another bite Oh, when I think of food It gets me in the mood Strawberries, chocolate, ice cream cones Marshmallows barbecued Marshmallows barbecued Hey, Bebo! See what I've done? <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I can fix that in a moment. Oh, my, what ghastly neighbors. Where are my glasses? And it's only getting worse. Is that all you've done? Yeah, you haven't done all that much yourself. Something tells me you really haven't tried that hard. Of course we have. You can see for yourself. We have the nicest houses in the whole area. And now, we can enjoy mm -hmm. ourselves. And have a rest. Uh, doesn't all this excitement tire you out? <sighs> he who laughs last laughs the longest. Yes, he who laughs last laughs longest. It's just...
just a trait of character I really can't explain. But when I see a little pig, a light lights in my brain. And then and there I have ideas, sausages and a fresh cut ham. A little pig is so many pretty things, roasted, smoked, or as pate. And now I have a project for my wee pink friends, but the ways to my means and the means to my ends must be carefully contrived, construed, reflected in utmost quietude. Until the porkers are in the can in the rear of my delivery van. A little pig is so many pretty things, roasted, smoked, or as pate. Here I come, big boss. This is going to be a tricky one, but I'll need to keep my wits about me. Here he comes. This is going to be a tricky one, and I'll need to keep my wits about me. <laughs> And you! No eavesdropping! Keep out of my way! Phew, you stink! Well then, Rublar, what about our deal? I see you've come empty-handed. Shh! Let me in. I've got something to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I hope you aren't up your old tricks again. If you are, watch out! As for you, you evil-smelling wretch, don't get underfoot! <clears throat> Go do something useful! Sweep the floor! What are you doing in there? There's work to be done! Get out of there and clean the building from top to bottom! There we are. Now I just need the pigs. That big oaf is so stupid! <sighs> ah, the silly old fox. He thinks he's clever. Little does he know what's going to happen. <laughs> Bimo, I've overcooked the potatoes. Fino's going to be angry again. Oh dear, Wally, you really can't be trusted. What a day. And as for you two, I just don't think your houses will stay up. Why not? My house is very pretty. So is mine, although it's less luxurious. But I don't mind. I don't have luxurious tastes. <laughs> hey, here are some sandwiches, and some chips, too, and some jam, and something to drink. Well, there's nothing luxurious about my house. It's solid, and that's all I want. We don't need beautiful houses. All we do is sleep in them. And there's nothing to be afraid of. Oh, did you hear that? You're afraid of a poor little owl while there's a wolf roaming outside? You heard the radio. Oh, I don't believe it. That's nonsense. Now just think about it for a moment. It'll be so much better in a solid house, protected from the wind and storms, and even from wolves. You seem worried, Bimo. Is it the wolf? Let's just think about the new song I'm going to play tomorrow. Same old story. You two will regret your procrastination. Procrasta what? <sighs> I'm wasting my breath. Now, please, make your houses stronger for my sake. I'll come round and check. You're beginning to get on my nerves, you know? Yeah, we'll think about it tomorrow. <sighs> you heard what I said. Have a good night in your palace, scaredy cat. Hmm. <laughs> 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 
There's two letters for you. Oh, 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 I love her a little, a lot, passionately. Hey, Bino, Bino, Suzette's coming to see us. It's an invitation to a free meal, but wait, at the end of the Jetta Wolf? Oh, Vito, let's go. The food, it'll be good. And there's going to be a fabulous show afterwards. You're not thinking straight, you two. There's no way you're going. We've got work to do. Let's get moving. I want something to eat. That invitation sounded really good. And if that's how he feels about it, I'm going back to bed. The Inn of the Gentle Wolf. There's something fishy about that name. We'll have to be very careful. Let's keep our eyes and ears open. I'm relying on you. Keep Wally and Bimo on the job. Yes, sir! Now listen, you two quit fooling around and get back to work. Oh, that Fido does go on. I'm not so sure, Wally. Fido may be right. Let's go to work. You need sand to make mortar, and stones and wood, and uh, you'll find it all in the forest, in the quarry. What a life. Follow me, Bimo, Wally. This way. Phew, it's so hot. I'm worn out already. The birds and bees that live in trees, the earthworm and the sparrow, all know that when the sun comes up, there's no time to complain. From dawn to dusk, from light to dark, there's so much work to do. So stop your whining, the sun is shining, and we will soon be through. You can lose your silver, you can lose your gold, but if you lose your dime, you'll soon be old. You can lose your diamonds, all I've got to say is if you lose your time, you'll soon be gray. You'll soon be gray, you'll soon be gray. Just look around you and observe the planetary movement. The stars come out, the moon goes down, the cat climbs up a tree. The airplanes fly, car motors roar, and cameramen call action. So when it's time to go to work, don't let me hear you snore. You can lose your silver, you can lose your gold. But if you lose your time, you'll soon be old. You can lose your diamonds, all I've got to say is if you lose your time, you'll soon be gray. You'll soon be gray, you'll soon be gray. The robin, she does make her nest in staunch deliberation. Though she might not be so aware it is in preparation. For when those little eggs are hatched, it seems the perfect place. Without that nest, she'd have a mess egg all over her face. You can lose your silver, you can lose your gold. But if you lose your time, you'll soon be old. You can lose your diamonds, all I've got to say. You can lose your diamonds, all I've got to say is if you lose your time, you'll soon be gray. Good morning, gentlemen. And what prodigious talent you have. I thought I was hearing things for a moment. Such fine singing in the middle of the wood. Who's this joker? Don't know. But he's got a great ear for music, doesn't he? What a heavenly voice. I'm dreaming of two chubby little piglets. Absolutely heavenly. As you can see, we're extremely busy here, so please don't get in our way. How hard you all are working. 
and in this heat, do carry on. Don't let me put you off. No, just carry on. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, stop that right now. Do you know you sing like huh? an angel? What? Why are you so shy about such talent? I'm not shy about anything. I'm a real musician. Imagine yourself just for a moment on stage. A full house. The theater buzzing with anticipation. Butterflies in your tummy. And suddenly, the curtain goes up. You walk oh. up to the stage. The audience starts clapping. Then, when the show is over, the applause is deafening. The audience stamp their feet. It is the first of your many triumphs. World tours. You spend all your time going from one luxurious hotel to the next. And from one restaurant to the next. Happy a star. That's the life, eh, boys? Success at last! My talent recognized the world over! I should like to offer my services for a small consideration of 70% commission. You do need a good agent, you know. You're crazy! Don't pay any attention to him! Well, I want to think about it for a day or two. Ta-da! Ta-da! Time is of the essence! Come, I'll take you to the Inn of the Gentle Wolf. You don't have anything to worry about. A comfortable bed and good food await you! Look, Fimo, Wally, don't you forget what Fino told you. Be sensible! Stay right here! <laughs> Serves you right. You were asking for it. What's Fino going, going to say? say? Don't you worry about him. He'll be thrilled to see you on the stage. And so beautifully, um, produced, too. <laughs> Shall we go? Yeah, a good meal and a comfortable bed will build up our strength. No, let me get out of here. <laughs> oh, they're out of their minds. <laughs> My goodness, what do they do with their time? Oh, Felix, what am I going to do without you? He is good at making those two see reason. <sighs> I gotta get him out of here somehow. <laughs> I feel terrible. The best cure for that. Is a good meal. <laughs> right this way, boys. Hey, you guys, it's a trap! Welcome, my friends. We never dreamt that such distinguished artists would grace our humble inn. Come in! We have prepared a special welcome for persons of your exalted standing. Our artists are exhausted from their journey and would like to take a little rest. I quite understand. The table is set. But where's the stage? Where's the lighting? And the music? Who's going to accompany us? Come on now, there's no hurry. In good time, I will show you everything. You think this is a good idea, Wally? He's right. There's nothing like a good meal before you start working. Here you are. You must be starving after your trip. So behold the table, piled high with scrumptious dishes and a bowl of exotic fruits. What's that over there? It's spaghetti with cheese and tomato sauce. I'm sure you'll love it. Have you got any orange juice? Surely you'll find a glass of lemonade more refreshing. These creamed vegetables. Mmm, they're so delicious. I didn't realize I was so hungry. It's a great favorite, that one. It's one of our specialties. We find that people are always asking for it. Have some more. Help yourself. I've always been real keen on shepherd's pie. It reminds me of the food Mummy used to make, don't you think, Bebo? 
Mmm, yes. Do you remember the cream caramel and the Irish stew? Ah, <sighs> Irish stew. Arrow may made it specially for you, I remember. Irish stew. I bet you'd both like to eat until you burst. It's every little piglet's fantasy, isn't it? Eat more, eat more, go ahead. Ah, piglet stew. I'm going to eat more and more. It's every wise wolf's fantasy. I'll fill my belly and my pockets too. Let's not overdo it. We've got work to do. Relax, you've got nothing to worry about, my dear friends. We've got a lovely room waiting for you. You can rest there for a few hours before your performance, yes. Really? So everything's ready? Are we going to do our duet? But, uh, but, but I've never sung in public before. That's true. Gotta start sometime, though. You're sure we're not going to disappoint the audience? No. No false modesty. I don't know. You artists, always so unsure of yourselves. Now, be brave. Your public mustn't be done out of so much pleasure. This will be a great moment for you two, eh? And then we'll have to organize more tours. That's right. You'll be really famous. <laughs> oh, what to do? They don't know what they're letting themselves in for. Oh, all this work. I'm exhausted. And the others haven't come back yet. Oh, hmm. Lazy things. They're probably having a sing-song somewhere in the forest. I'm surprised about Felix, though. I was counting on him to keep those two in line. What are you doing here, you rascal? Go join Arrowmay in the kitchen. Go! Oh, dear. Are you all right? Does it hurt? Mm -hmm. Oh, my head. He's a monster. Drink this. It will make you feel better. I don't understand what's going on. I know my friends are in danger, but they won't listen to me. How can I make them understand? Are you really friends of theirs? Of course. We're the best of friends that friends can be. Everybody knows that. I've got something to show you. Wait a moment here. Look at this. Now you'll see. Hmm. Let me see. Big show at the Inn of the Gentle Wolf. Starring the Pig Brothers. Sausages? Pork chops? Bacon? Oh, no! Oh, my goodness! This is terrible! They're having a feast and Wally and Bimo are the main course! They only have a few hours left! Oh, oh dear me! Why do you work for those gangsters? You don't understand. Nobody loves me. It's not my fault if I smell so strongly. I see what you mean. No one else will have me. Only Big Boss will give me a job. They'll never eat me. I'm too revolting. Bimo and Wally think they're gonna become stars this evening. But Big Boss and his friends have only got one thing in mind. They'll grab them, and then... I'm off to get reinforcements! Punctuality. Mummy always said that's what pigs were really good at. Don't my brothers remember anything at all? Hurry along there, please. Only a few seats left. The best show in town. Quickly now. Starting any minute now. Buy your tickets here. Pardon me, young lady. Are there any front row seats left? I seem to have left my glasses behind. Six seats, please, with a reduced price for a large family. As quickly as you can. Keep it moving. I hope they let us have some bones to gnaw on. Hey, Alfred. Patience, my good friends. Be patient. Lemonade or orange juice, anyone? Got a jar of honey by any chance? Throw him out! It's only cold meats on sale here. Absolutely no sweet things. Good. You wouldn't want to forget your old chum, would you? Well, everything's going hunky-dory. <laughs> I have come for my, uh, my, uh, cut. No problem, my dear friend. Hmm. I'll 
I'll take off the cost of the posters, buying the drinks, and the money for cleaning the meals for those two fools, this, that, the other. And this is for you, then. Goodbye. I'll get my revenge. You haven't heard the last of this. Come on, I've been waiting for an hour! The drinks for table three, three for table five, oh, table six, what do they want now? Oh, oh, oh I just can't keep going. Move, Arome, faster! Now go, get me three bags of chips! What a foul-smelling vermin you are! Yes, yes, Mr. Grizzly. 50 yards of pork sausages and 153 boxes of top quality pork pies. You can't imagine how delicious they are. Yes, yes, seven o'clock in the morning. Very well, my regards to your lady wife. What are you up to, wretch? One word out of you and I'll turn you into a pie as well. A word of advice, just keep calm. You can trust me, I won't say a word. Please don't hurt me. Please, don't hurt me, please. Let's get going faster, faster. <laughs> to Fino's house, quick. Wally and Bimo are in big trouble. Well, viewers, this is our culinary spot for this evening. 11.30. What on earth is going on? Take one pig, cut it in two. Put a little cinnamon, some basil, and some garlic, and a spoonful of fresh cream into a bowl. I hope they haven't got lost in the forest. <sighs> Why aren't they back yet? I shouldn't have been so hard on them. They're so young. This jacket is too tight. I can hardly breathe. I don't see Fino anywhere. He can't have seen the posters. We should have told him. He must be terribly worried about us. We've made a mistake. We should have gone back home. I can't sing. I feel ill. I ate too much. Oh. You can do it. We're going to become famous. Now listen here, you. You're not supposed to be chatting. Twerk. <laughs> What are you doing? Can't you hear the audience calling out for you? Hurry up! I'm hungry! Come on, let's get started! <clears throat> calm down. All of you should just calm down. In one moment now, the famous Wally and Bimo duo. <laughs> After the show, these chubby, plump, roly poly right. stars will come round to your table let's, let's, and sign let's, autographs. Take it in park! Take it in park! And now, I present Wally and Bimo! You go first, Bimo. I can't go on. Wally and Bimo! Wally! And Bimo! We love to sing and dance, and now we've got our chance. We're having one grand time. We came a long, long way to where we are today, just as we've reached our prime. So let the music soar, we'll make the public roar. As we entertain, we made it to the top in a skit jump in a heart. We're on the road to fame. Nobody thought we could, only we knew we would become the pigs. We are. We've got the confidence, we've learned the rudiments to carry us this far. And now the lights are on, the quiet days are gone, we found our lucky star. So let the show begin, we'll entertain you with all our heart. We're cooking now! Oh, boy! 
isn't it great to be a big celebrity that everyone admires? The telephone won't stop, the ratings just won't drop, the fans keep sending wires. Our popularity is without precedent, it's something to be seen. It's not just anyone that can be famous, but so are we. We love to sing and dance, and now we've got our chance. We're having one grand time. We've come a long, long way to where we are today, just as we've reached our prime. So let the music soar, we'll make the public roar as we entertain. We've made it to the top in a skip, jump, and a hop. We're on the road. Sausage you promised us. How about that? Come on, everyone. Let's just help ourselves. Come on. Oh, Bebo. We're in for it this time. Fino, open up. Come on. It's Felix. Quick. Your brothers are in danger. Where have you been? We gotta get to the end of the gentle wolf. We gotta save Bemo and Wally. For everybody, I've got plenty more in the cellar. Now I've got to move fast. The show will continue in just a moment. Our stars have taken ill. I do apologize. <laughs> I've got oh! them now. I want my money back. Yeah! What's going on here? Where have they gone to? Money back, money back. Where's the beach of blue and black? Money back. Money back! Earth will beat you blue and black! Yeah. You thank us for fools! Everyone gets taken for a ride sometime! <laughs> oh, I should have done something! What a coward I am! Those poor little piglets are going to die! And it's all my fault! Oh, May! Oh, May, get us out of here! Get us out of here! He's going to eat us alive! Be brave, my friends. I will help you. <laughs> I'm here with you. Oh, Felix, I have a feeling we're too late. You may be right, Fino. It looks like a giant tornado's passed through this way. It's all my fault, Felix. I should never have let them go out in the forest. Don't give up. Look here. Wheel marks. What's this disgusting object in the mud? Huh. It looks like Bemo's handkerchief. But what's that dreadful smell? I know. That smell. It's our friend Arame. You mean Arame the skunk? What's Arame have to do with this? She works at the Inn of the Gentle Wolf. That means we're on the right track. Come on, follow me. <laughs> now, 
Now, my friend, you shouldn't have underestimated me like that. I'm not usually taken so easily for a ride. For a start, don't speak to me in that tone of voice. The pigs are mine. Hand them over, and we'll settle up afterwards. Trust me. Oh, no, this is too much. You think I'm going to fall into your trap so easily? Stop playing games. The piglets are mine. Otherwise, there's going to be trouble. You'll get nothing out of me, I promise you. And here's your coin back. You blackguard! You cheat! You traitor! What, you take me for a half wit or something? Is that it? <laughs> Let's take this opportunity to look around this delightful place. I think there could be one or two surprises in store. We're here! Be brave! Quickly, quickly! I've almost got the bag open! Come on, come on! Oh. Ah, Bemo! Wally, I was so worried! We no! Know. Oh, we, we never, never should have gone. gone! Okay, okay, that's enough! I have a feeling we're not the only ones down here! You see? Cages, and all of them full. But why are they all so quiet? They must be tranquilized! Bah! Help! That's Suzette! What have they done to her? I'll save you! Quick! Open all the cages and let's get out of here! <laughs> Just wait here, my friend. In a few moments, you will be a juicy pork pie. <laughs> Go away! 
Okay. Uh, uh. Oh, no. <laughs> Do what's going on? Never mind. Did you see a thing? <laughs> my little piggies, my little sausages, my little pork fillets. Please let me into your house now, won't you? Certainly not. Just, Just set, set one foot, foot inside and... Relationship another chance? I mean you three no harm. Won't you let me come in your house? No, big boss, never! Mr. Chimney Sweep, but not until Santa Claus has come and gone. It isn't enough for the wolf to stay outside the house. If we want to live in peace, we have to get rid of him. My little piglets! My little piglets, guess who? It's Santa Claus. I come laden with presents for you and your family. Won't you let me come into your home? I beg you. But of course, Santa. With pleasure. Climb up the ladder onto the roof. We've put our stockings out and prepared a wonderful surprise for you. I'm ready. Give us your presents now, Santa. Come down and get warm. We've organized a special reception for you. <laughs> Wally, 
Pass me the pot of green paint, if you please. I never realized work could be so much fun. Yes, and when we finished, we'll have the nicest restaurant in the whole forest. In the whole world. Yes, you're right, little salami. <laughs> my little pig, my little pig, let me in. <laughs> what an old fool he was. <laughs> yeah, well, don't forget the two of you came very close to becoming pork pies. Very close indeed. Latest news bulletin just in. Two very foolish little pigs, Wally and Bimo, accidentally fell into an oven. And two helpless passers-by, Rublard and Big Boss, tried in vain to help them out of their predicament. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, you two. You haven't painted that corner properly. Come on, you gotta be responsible for your work. Don't think for a moment I'm gonna do it for you. Hmm. Oh my, is that the one who wants to be my son-in-law? Suzette, come here. Don't think I'm going to let you marry a lazy bones who's afraid of hard work. But, 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 it's all, all a mistake. Y you got it all wrong. Let me embrace you, uh. my boy. <sighs> <sighs> my husband, my hero. <laughs> Mr. Pig, we've been watching you on TV. The whole country knows about you. You've done us a real service. Oh, now we can let the children out to play. <laughs> but remember, you must be, be careful. careful. We, we know we won't, won't forget, forget this time, time will we? we? Yeah, see? Some things are worth saying over and over again. We're going to have a celebration. You're all invited to the Inn of the Singing Pigs. They'll be dancing, singing, and lots of fun. And the washing up, oh, oh. we'll leave that till tomorrow. Ah. <laughs> to sing and dance and now we've got our chance we're having one grand time we've come a long long way to where we are today just as we reached our prime so let the music soar we'll make the public roar as we entertain we've made it to the top in a skip jump and a hop we're on the road to fame Nobody thought we could, only we knew we would become the pigs we are. We've got the confidence, we've learned the rudiments to carry us this far. And now the lights are on, the quiet days are gone, we found our lucky star. So let the show begin, we'll entertain you with all our heart. Isn't it great to be a big celebrity that everyone admires? The telephone won't stop, the ratings just won't drop, the fans keep sending wires. Our popularity is without precedent, it's something to be seen. It's not just anyone that can be famous, but so are we. We love to sing and dance, and now we've got a chance. We're having one grand time. We've come a long, long way to where we are today, just as we reached our prime. So let the music soar, we'll make the public roar. As we entertain, we made it to the top in a skip, jump, and a hop. We're on the road to fame.